And next, I'm entering the room right on time, is Grammy award-winning Peter Cater. Hi, Peter. Don't, are you getting tired of being called Grammy award-winning Peter Cater yet? No. <laughs> he had 13 nominations. He was certainly ready for uh, that Grammy. And Oh, thank you. I got the new CD. It's She, and it's beautiful. It's um, And you got Grammy-winning artist in, so you had to do the whole cover over to get that. That's right. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Why don't you sit over here with a good mic? Yeah. And um, this she is, I've been hearing you talk about she. Welcome, Peter. I know you're busy. I so appreciate you coming in. It's always a pleasure me, yeah. talking to you. Um, you've got a wonderful event this, this coming Friday. Yeah. You're going to be uh, not only you, but uh, a wonderful woman I've been hearing you talk about who's an archival songstress joining you. Her name is Pia Lutzi. 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 And um, she's going to be with you this yeah. Friday at the beautiful Makawal Union Church. And um, you're going to be having, I'm sure, the CD for sale. Sure, yeah. Which is lovely. We're going to hear a little bit of it later. It's only $20, which is a steal right now if you get it in advance. And you have to go to Event Bright. It's a bright Event Bright. Music, I think. Right now, so you're confusing me. Bright oh, Star Events. Bright Star Events. Oh, okay. Dot, dot net. Mm-hmm. And then put Peter Cater in. Yes, forward slash Peter dash Cater. Or just go to brightstarevents.net and search my name. Yeah, Bright Star Events. And that's a really great price, Peter. It's super cheap, yeah. It is. It is for that. Um, it is $30 at the door. Yeah. So you have incentive to yes. act now we do yes um but i have a feeling you know it's not that large um, a place so i really recommend you getting on it now because this is going to sell out i'm pretty firmly aware that it might might sell out um so i want to hear a little bit about the motivation behind this you say is um it's the inspiration you receive from your muse and i'd love to hear about um that and how that happened and how you connected with also how you connect with Pia. Well, I mean, can you put it on a little bit and we can talk sure. while it's playing or something? That's a good idea. I will do that. I have to. Um, you keep talking while yeah. I'm looking down. So, I mean, every artist has their muse, I think, you know, or maybe or maybe we all have a muse, whether we're an artist or not, you know. Mm-hmm. But as a as a pianist, I think we have, I have a muse um, that I've been in relationship with my whole life, you know, and, and it's a... Uh, in some ways, it's personal. In some ways, it's impersonal. It's universal. But um, it's kind of a relationship with uh, your creative process and with uh, any kind of relationship. You need to show up. You need to nurture it. And you need to respond and and, um, and be responsible to it. So my muse has been very good to me over the years. <laughs> and uh, And I'm very aware that it's a relationship that I need to nurture and work with and so this album is an homage and dedication to Mm. to that okay we have it on and it sounds lovely you want to put headsets on so you can hear it while you're yeah but you put on your headsets here um in this i just am opening this is so exciting to see it says beyond the teeming activity of our lives on beloved earth lies the great eternal silence As we pause and listen, the silence will speak. One of the wondrous voices is through the language of music. That's lovely. I really like that. Yeah, thank you. This is She Awakens in the Garden that we're listening to. I love the titles on this. uh, I do, too. Yeah, she speaks through, what is it, she speaks through tall grasses. Oh, really? Is that one of them on there? I can't remember. She whispers. Oh, she whispers. In tall grasses. Also, yeah. it's beautiful. That is lovely. Oh, and the rain speaks her name. The rain speaks name. her name. I was just reading that now. Yeah. The flame burns within him. She yeah. is the title track, and that's the last one on this. Yeah. So this is, uh, Pia's about to start singing here. Hang on a second. Okay. Let's see this. She sounds like Enya. did you find her? A friend of mine introduced me to her um, first on YouTube 
just listening to her sing and watching some of her performances, and I was really moved. And uh, so I contacted her about a year and a half ago and asked her if she'd be into a collaboration, and uh, she was. And you know, it took about a year to uh, get it off the ground. Really, that long? Well, well just because we were busy doing other things, yeah. you know. But, well, you uh, had your Grammy award-winning project. I had to go win the, the Grammy first. You had yeah, to do that first. Yeah. But I, I love her voice. I do, too. Very and, pure. Uh, our chemistry together is really beautiful creatively. Like, I love this section right here. Some bass in there? like this line here. She resounds from within the profound sanctity of life, from the depths of our innermost vulnerabilities, and to the heights of our most ecstatic rejoicings. Very nice. Did, who did the uh, liner notes? I did most of them. They're good. Well written. I like to write. You don't share that very often, you know. Yeah, um, I will more and more. I mean... I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have kept posting some of my poems in a text to you if I knew that you wrote. Oh, <laughs> I come didn't, on. No, no, no. I was like, oh my God, I didn't know you wrote. No, <laughs> no I mean, your I, writing is beautiful. Well, thank you, but I really didn't know anything about your writing, so that's lovely. You did all these beautiful words. Most of them, yeah. I like oh. to, I like to write, and I like to um, take photos. You, you know. Well, I love your photos of the ocean. You have a lot of beautiful photos of the ocean that I see on your Facebook posts. Yeah. They're really lovely. Do you do that with your phone? Um, sometimes I do it with a camera, often with my iPhone. Yeah, they're very nice. Very, very nice. Is that the reason you moved back to Maui a few years ago? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maui's very picturesque. Yeah. A lot better than Santa Monica, I think, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> um so who's a Matt Hefner? He's, He's a bass player bass who lives this? here on uh, on Maui. I met him. I didn't uh, know that. Interesting. Yeah. And the violinist, what's her name? Oh, the cellist. What's the her name? The cellist is Michelle Anchetta. Yeah, she's a local cellist as well. Beautiful musician. I love the cello. Yeah, you hear it right now. Yeah, it's very, very soulful when you hear the cello. Yeah, listen to it. It's here. like a voice. Listen to this. woven together. It's like a mural of music that I just love. Um, it says here, the nature sounds on the album recorded by Peter at various waterfalls, beaches, grassy meadows, bamboo forts, mostly near and around Hana. Yeah. How did you do that? Do you have sound equipment, a little recorder that you take out and go out in nature with? Yeah, I have remote recording equipment, and uh, I just, you know, drove around and spent the night in Hana and hiked up to the bamboo forest and a bunch of waterfalls and a bunch of beaches, you know, with, the, like, the big black rocks that, like, clank together when the tide comes in and out, uh -huh. you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's some of my favorite nature sounds. Is it waterproof equipment? <laughs> no. No, <laughs> you might need waterproof equipment. The weather we've been having lately. What, what track has the sounds of um, nature on it? Um, the one, uh, let's see, there's several, but go to, um, what's it called? The Fire Burns Within Him? The Fire Burns Within Him. Okay, that's the next track here. So we'll go to it. That's not the next track. That's Her fl Flame Burns Within Him. Oh, no, I meant, uh, oh, he searches for her on the sea. See, that's five. That's track five, okay. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. There's the ocean. Yeah. I recognize that ocean. That was done um, out in Hana, one of the black sand beaches or something? Yeah. Very nice. You had a happy ocean that day. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't easy to find a happy ocean all the time. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh -huh. Nice recording. It's, it's, people don't realize that, but it's hard to get nature recorded right. Uh, a lot of people used to think, oh, it's so calming to hear the sound of the waves, but a lot of times waves come out like white noise if you don't true. do it right, right? Yeah, and then there's the wind, too, you have to be careful of. So 
it does take a while. Did you have rain and the rain speaks her name? Yeah, I had you rain. You actually did? Yeah, and I had, uh, that piece is uh, beautiful because it actually has lots of raindrops that. Well, I, I gotta turn it to that, I want to turn it to Because I think the sound, <laughs> of, right. the sound of rain is so hypnotic and so peaceful. It really is. Here, we're gonna hear the rain here. This That's a, a nice this rain. This has a really long intro. Very nice rain. Birds, too. Well, the birds were there. <laughs> Is this Hana also? Yeah. It was oh. wet. Yeah, that sounds nice. This is a very, very slow intro. At some point, you'll hear a dripping sound right there. Yeah. It starts off random, and gradually I edit it into this really beautiful, intricate pattern. I did did you write the music around the sounds? Oh, well, it all comes out kind of the same way, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. I started off with with this. Very peaceful, very nice. Are you going to do music videos with this? This would be it would this CD would lend itself beautifully to lovely music videos. Yeah, I really should actually. Should, yeah. I should hold a contest or something, you know, because there's a lot of people that do. That's right. You know, they like doing videos to other people's music. I should yeah. do a contest to see who can do the best video for this song. It would lend itself beautifully to. It'd be very zen-like, right? Yeah. Well, if you're gonna, you have to listen to this whole song now because this song just kind of evolves into. Uh, it is lovely. Really beautiful thing. So you you did this in your studio in your home? Yeah, that's where I record all my albums. I do see something on the bottom I don't usually see on your CDs called a Real Music. Real Music is out of um, Sausalito. Yeah, this is for a label called Real Music. I occasionally do projects for labels. Uh, not so much anymore because there's really no benefit, really. If you're an established artist like myself and you already have distribution, there's really no benefit to going to a label. No. Because you... If giving, people are going to you so and much. you have the mailing list and everything, right, for your... Yeah, but I also I know how to market stuff because I've been doing it my whole life, so... Well, that's the key, isn't it? Yeah. Plus, yeah. you sell a lot of... This will be at the event that's happening Friday at the Makawa Union Church. And um, you have an early start on it, earlier than usual. What time do you start on, on Friday? Um, I think it's 7.30. 7.30? Okay. So. And... Yeah. Um, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be interesting because you really don't have these sounds unless you're, you're going to play a recording of the sounds of some no, of No, we're just going to do piano and vocal. Okay. And she, she plays a stringed instrument that I can't remember the name of. I really do see a video going behind you as you're playing this somewhere. I, I can see the lo if you put a video on a screen behind you as you do this somewhere, it'd be lovely. In fact, I think the whole CD lends itself to a lovely lovely piece. I mean, speaking of that, you also have a project um, for the Big Island and the volcano, the different park systems, the national park systems? Yeah, four of the national parks did uh, promotional or educational videos, documentaries. So I did the music for those. I did the music for three of them. I got one more to do. Which is, again, you go back to the nature, right? I love nature, yeah. Well, and as you mentioned, and I'm so glad you did, that, that I, I have to walk out in nature every day, unless it's really storming and wet and dangerous. <laughs> but, I mean, nature is a healer. Nature is a muse. Nature sings. Nature talks. Yeah. Um, and you have to be silent, you know, to listen. But yeah. um, there's such amazing sounds in nature. And not a lot of people go out and do that and combine that amazing energy of nature with this is lovely. I love this. Now she must have, she must have put the vocals in after you did the piano on this and some of the sounds. Actually, I edited her voice first and then laid the final piano track at the end. I often do that. I start off with a scratch track on the piano, uh -huh. then put everything in around it, and then do a final piano track that really works with everything. Well, that's like creating a piece of art. It is. Yeah, it's actually creating a picture. Yeah. sound. It's like a landscape. It is. Absolutely it is, yeah. Because she picks up the sound of your piano, or you picked up the sound of her voice. I don't we, you know, yeah, chicken or the egg. Back and forth. But, but it's really exactly in tune with each other. So she lives in the in Seattle area? She, in she lives in Medford, Oregon. Oh, in Medford. I've been to Medford, Oregon. Again, lovely nature. 
a lot more rain. Yeah, she's on the big island right now. She came in a few days early to uh, chill out, and then uh, I fly over there tomorrow. We play the big island on Thursday night, Maui. Where, where are you going to play on the big island? A place called the Pyramid House I don't in know. Kona. It's a beautiful Sounds venue. Sounds wonderful. Really beautiful. Maui on Friday, Oahu on Saturday, Kauai on Sunday. Monday off, and we fly to L.A. on Tuesday. You're going to play Oahu? Oahu on Saturday, yeah. yeah. And then we got four concerts, or actually have five concerts in California next week. Oh, you're, 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 you're getting serious. This is a heavy on, on the road trip. It's like nine gigs in, yeah. in 12 days. Where are you playing since? Well, I'll we'll have this posted online. So where are you playing in California? Uh, Encinitas, L.A., Santa Barbara, and San Francisco. Well, Encinitas, of course, has the Self-Realization Fellowship there. It's so beautiful, and they have their retreat center there and everything. Yeah. I play there a lot. Have you really? Not at the fellowship, but in in Encinitas. In Encinitas, yeah. yeah. So Encinitas, and where else in California? L.A.? L.A., at the Grammy Museum. Oh, you're going to do the Grammy Museum. Yay. That's 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 another hidden treasure. It is truly a hidden treasure. I mean, people don't realize what amazing events go on there. Yeah, and it's only... It's downtown L.A. Yeah, Yeah. downtown. But it's, it's quite amazing. Very intimate. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Are you going to do their interviews as well? Because they usually do an interview and uh, sometimes they have interviews and performances. I've, I've done the interview. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know if we're doing one this time. Yeah. Wow. How nice. And this is the first time you're going to be at the Grammy Museum with the Grammy. Yeah. Have you gotten it in the mail yet? No. <laughs> you still don't have so, it. But it's been almost two months. <laughs> I, oh, God, I thought it's you like, would have gotten it by now. No, it was just two weeks ago where I get the, the letter to sign off on it saying, you know, we're going to send you a Grammy. You need to, you know, agree that you're only going to, you know, you're going to use it in respectable. You're not going to, you know, deface it or disrespect it. You know, you do, you're signing an agreement to... You can't use it up, as a doorstop? Uphold the... Um, <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell anyone. <laughs> I know someone who... Who had an Academy Award and they used it as a doorstop. I just said that because I knew that and it's like, okay. Um, But then again, I think the people at the Academy Awards got their Oscars the night of the event because someone posted that theirs got stolen afterwards. I forget who it was. Someone went to a party and someone took theirs and they got it back. But but no, you have to wait and good things come in time, right? Um, It'd be nice if they gave it to you when you were at the Grammy Museum. I'm just saying. Uh, (laughs) That's true. <laughs> it would, you know, get right there. And then you have to take it through TSA. What is this? That's a Grammy. Um, so that's lovely. I think this is lovely. Are you going to get to go to, are you going to be in any Oregon places since that's kind of our hometown? Are you going to no, go and do anything there? No, not this trip, no. Yeah. Well, it must have, it was an interesting mix. And um, I find this really kind of different than other things you've done. Yeah, it's different. And I like it very, very much. I'm glad, thanks. Well, I find your music, uh, by the way, I play all of your music on my station in Sedona, KUOS FM, and it sounds so good on the radio. I have to say it sounds beautiful. And I don't know if people are aware, you've done so much, like 60. Well, maybe I haven't played all of your music, because I only have like six or seven of your CDs. (laughs) But if you sent me more, I would play more. But um, you have one you did with... um, that lovely Native American flautist. Oh, R. Carlos Nakai. Okay. Yeah, which works very well in Sedona, of course, you know, because yeah. he's amazing. And then you had one you did with um, a chanter from here as well, one piece that was very powerful with that Hawaiian chant. Oh, that was with Richard De Leon. I love Richard, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. play that. That sounds really powerful. You have song. that, huh? Yes, I do. Interesting. I don't, yeah. even, I don't even know where that is. It's on the radio in Sedona. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh no, that's you don't. That's, is that a long time ago? Is that kind of hard to find that one? Well, yeah, I just don't remember where it's available. Is it on iTunes? I don't remember. It's just a little thing. I, I did it was with one of you know. I just collect music as I go, and I yeah. save some of it. And who knows where it lands up when you get to put it on iTunes, right? And then you know, years later, it's like, oh yeah, I got to get that in there. Um, uh, although they've changed that through the years, and it's harder because now they try to always go backwards and say, you know, is this title with this? And it's like, wait a second, I had this before you were doing that. I had all this music because I've been in radio all my life, right? Right. Um, but no, I've been uh, always loving your music. And this lo- this one, and I think all of them, truthfully, are very meditative. I find that the best way to listen to music is with your eyes closed. If you're driving, don't close your eyes. We want your eyes open, but 
If you have the time to listen in quiet with no interruptions and just close your eyes and meditate to the music, you will find that you are lifted. And, and I'm sure people at your concert Friday will, and I'm sure people do at your concerts, right? They close their eyes and meditate to your music? They often do. They can, yeah. You close your eyes and meditate to your music when you do it sometimes, I think, don't you? Well, I wouldn't call it meditation. I'm just kind of like what being, do you, what being do you the call music. It? You're know. being the music. <laughs> Well, being is meditating when you're just pure being anyway, right? Mm -hmm. If you're pure being, you don't need to meditate because you're just being. Sometimes meditating actually implies doing something. What are you you doing? I'm meditating. (laughs) (laughs) You're not. (laughs) It's like, it's different different when you're trying to do something than when you're just doing something. You're not supposed to try when you meditate. That's one of the keys to meditation. You're not supposed to try. You just be. Um, And if you're trying, you're putting something a block there but you knew that so and and of course we do want to give a nod of recognition to your grammy that you got for the lovely cd you did last year that was a very unusual cd that was done uh, with people who came to your home and they actually laid under your piano Mm -hmm. and you created music based on the energy fields basically Mm -hmm. and who would have guessed that was the one dancing on water Mm -hmm. right that one was the one that you got the grammy for and it is it's interesting because i've heard that cd gosh i don't know how many times now quite a few times but that one has changed for me as i listen to it as Passion. I, I have to say, still, I think Passion may be my favorite CD you've done. Oh, wow. Well. well, that's a very... That's a beautiful CD, yeah. It's a beautiful CD. Yeah, Tina Guo is amazing. I Chalice. ate the chocolate bar. Uh, I should have brought you another one. <laughs> I ate the chocolate bar when I was at the Grammys. I took <laughs> it with me to New York as my munching, because I was a long flight over there. Uh-huh. And I thought it was a good way to prepare for the Grammys. People, he had this, I have to tell folks, he had this beautiful chocolate bar and it was done with the cover of passion which was a lovely tree that was like a cherry tree with hearts um on it and it was really a good chocolate bar and that was a good promotion you don't get promotions where you can eat the promotion yeah, very no, that often. was a good one that was a very good one. it was a dark chocolate hazelnut toffee and oh, salt it was very oh it was very good yeah. i had it on the plane somewhere over the midwest i think where i ate that and i i didn't eat it all at once i saved it a little bit of <laughs> <laughs> but but you you are doing this. People can go online and get it. Is it already available online, or can they only yeah, get it? Yeah, it's in pre-order. They can go to Amazon.com and pre-order it. They can buy it from me on Friday. Oh, the pre-order's on, at Amazon. Yeah. So it hasn't actually come out. The release right? date is March 30th. I'm doing a premiere release. Yeah, you could oh be. Oh, my God. This could be the first time played on the radio. I, I think it probably is. Let me be quiet for a little bit here then. Boy, that's so lovely. Her voice is so pure, isn't it? Just we have only a couple minutes left, but um, so people know what um, an archival songstress is. She her, she's known for collecting songs from all kinds of cultures around the world, uh, largely through uh, Europe, uh, Eastern Europe, Northern Europe. Um, she collects songs. She goes to these villages and hangs out with the old musicians and you know finds these old ancient songs that have been passed down. You know for sometimes centuries and wow. she remembers them learns them writes them down you know she has a whole palette of uh, history is she going to be collecting some chants here while she's in Hawaii I wouldn't be surprised wow. she's spending some extra time here oh that's wonderful yeah I'd love her to come in maybe have her on my travel show she's going to have extra time it would be like maybe the week from tomorrow week she's, from she's spending extra time, extra time on Big Island on Kauai we're only on Maui for a day because the Maui yeah, she could call in we have oh okay yeah no, I'd love to talk to her about that. Well, we're just about out of time, but I want to remind people, and this is very important, this special, special, special event is going to be happening Friday. Uh, Pia Lutzi. 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 Lutzi, like Lucinda. 
Pia Lutzi um, is going to be with Peter at the Makawa Union Church. You should get your tickets in advance if you care about saving $10. Um, and the site to get them at is... BrightStarEvents.net BrightStarEvents.net And then put in Peter Cater. And you can get tickets if they're available at the door. If think, it's not so be some. You think they will? Yeah. For $30. And it's really going to be a, a beautiful concert. Um, I, I just have to say, people, we are very, very, very lucky to have Peter here and um, having and bringing people like Pia. Um, it's unfortunate that we take people for granted after they've been here a while. <laughs> I mean, it should not be that way. This is a very special treat, folks. And I encourage you not to take it for granted and get there and really enjoy this very special uh, event this Friday. And I'm always grateful um, also because I know you're super busy and you've got your kid to pick up from school. You may be a Grammy Award winning artist, but you still can't pick up your kid from That's school. Right. So you I, make him lunch I, and breakfast and dinner. <laughs> so I, I appreciate that, um, that you do take the time because... Again, uh, folks, you don't realize that a lot of people who are at the level that Peter's at um, don't have time to come down and even talk at radio stations because you get busy and you're doing big events and stuff. Yeah, I love doing it. I love doing it. Well, it's great. It's always a treat seeing you, Peter. Great to see and, you, too. And I'm so glad you brought this. I'm gonna. Can I keep this CD? Of course. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. treasure this CD, and it's going to go right on KU. I'm going to put it in KUOS this afternoon. Awesome. So thank you so much, and... Um, Thank you for everything you do for the music community and your inspiring music that inspires me and the world. Um, don't forget this coming Friday. Don't miss it at the Makawa Union Church at 7.30 um, with Pia and Peter. It's going to be a heavenly night of music um, to meditate to and more. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits as Peter's music always does. Uh, again, a big mahalo and uh, thank Thanks. you. Thanks, thank Cindy. you. We will see you soon on Friday. Uh, Aloha. Aloha.